let's make sure that all those people who are not here feel a little envious and wish they were here with us. So it's at shared interest underscore, and the hashtag is conversations for change. What an appropriate evening, really, to hold this event. Today is Africa Day. So I want us to exhibit a little bit of Ubuntu at our tables tonight. You know, in South Africa, when we greet you, we try to really connect with you. We try to acknowledge you. In that greeting, you also feel the need to talk about your family. That's the fact that it comes from the heart, not from the head. That's where that greeting comes from. We understand that a person is a person through other persons. We call that Ubuntu, being in tune with your humanity. So right now, I'd like you to really talk to the person next to you, greet the person next to you, or what we would call in South Africa an Indaba which means the gathering of great minds. Judging from our panel that's going to be up here tonight, and more importantly, the audience that is here, I have no doubt we're going to have one of the greatest evenings ever. Tonight we explore some of the challenges that South Africa and the United States share, and what the two countries have learned, and more importantly, what they have to learn from each other. Some of you have been living this conversation for years. Others are here for the first time, and we welcome you. To start off our evening, we invite two close and longtime friends of shared interests to the stage, David Dinkins and Stanley Bergman. But before that, let me just tell you who they are, I know they don't even need any introduction. First, David Dinkins is New York's 106th and first African-American mayor. When I first told him, I told him one day, I said, you are my favorite mayor, and I was trying to get a picture with him, and he said to me, I bet you tell every mayor they're your favorite mayor. So that's David Dinkins, he says it like it is. He welcomed Nelson Mandela to one of the most memorable celebrations ever in New York after his release from uh, Robben Island. Undoubtedly a victory over apartheid. As Manhattan Bureau President, he provided strong support for the struggle as he upheld the rights of economically disenfranchised New Yorkers and fought for human rights and racial equality around the globe. He is a member of the faculty of this university, Columbia University School of International and Public Affairs, through which he hosts the David N. Dinkins Leadership and Public Policy Forum. Let's give a rousing applause to my favorite mayor, Mayor Dinkins. Thank you, Peter. 